Y'all, this is it. This is a super special episode where we get to experience the celebration of a child turning one month old in the Vietnamese culture. And for y'all that don't know, I went down to Rat Ya and then an hour outside into a village to experience the celebration of my buddy Tim's one month year old daughter. And it was so much more than a massive feast with traditional Vietnamese foods, but don't get me wrong, there was plenty of that. It was just overall a fascinating experience and I'm excited to give you a little blast of the past and bring you along with me for this experience as well. For y'all that don't know, it's Max here from My Kind of Eats. Let's head that way. <laughs> And we've made it. We are here at Tim's wife's little village home here. Big or wide open home. But first, like I gotta say, y'all, this is awesome to be so far out in the country. You know, you can take me to fancy restaurants, you can put the country boy in the city, but there's something about being with the family out in the country that I just love. It's gonna be a great day. I'm super excited to show y'all today. As you can see, you've got all the tables and chairs. I'm curious how many people are gonna show up because these are huge tables, ton of chairs. Now I have no clue what we're eating. I see some hot, hot little burners over here, so I know we're gonna finish off some lao. Typically, you usually finish your meal anyways with a hot liquid, kind of help digest everything. Other than that, I have no clue what's going on here, y'all. We're actually only about an hour away from the Cambodia border and we're about 30 minutes away from the ocean. So no surprise, there's gonna be a lot of delicious seafood in this meal or fingers crossed. Right here on the water, get that breeze coming in. Can't go any further. I'm just gonna try to lean out as far as I can. Ah. There's just beauty and simplicity, you know? It's not much. It's all you really need. So this is actually the cuttlefish or squid. I don't know what the correct terminology is. I think it's ubiquitous. Wait, ubiquitous? Nah. Okay, I'm. It's like three words I've screwed up in this one take. Anyways, they're cleaning it now with some ice water. Then they're gonna drain it in a little basket over here. If you can see that water, you can tell it is murky now. It was clean when they first started rinsing and washing. All right, they are gonna continue to cook and we are going to go to the village Bangkok lady because it looked delicious when we came in. Rule number one, don't get hit. Looks like she's almost done for the day. You see that batter has gotten low, but she's got a few more cooking up here. Looks like we may be close to the last batch that we're gonna get. Village traffic jam, gotta move the bike. Not many cars used coming through here. Fresh crabs, the fresh seafood. It's so normal here. Look at this beautiful hall. Look at the beauty of a cast iron skillet. Getting that crust right there. Hers is worn and torn down. It's got that crack going down the side. It's gonna hold on to that flavor again and again and again. And look at this, I think that's a piece of lemongrass. She's taking the oil, using the lemongrass, almost as like a little, not spatula, what are those things called? Oh, I can't think of the name. As you see, the life here is very slow. Right. Even the way they cook, it doesn't seem like she's in a hurry to cook. Okay, as, as ground up uh, shrimp. Oh, okay. Yeah, ground up, dried up shrimp, and they ground it up, you know, so it's fluffy. She gave us a lot. No, or you can eat it, mom. So this is the definition of hole in the wall. See, if you make good quality food, doesn't matter where you set up, people will come to you. Sweet. Here. <laughs> Great 
gorgeous. I'm telling you, again, using that cast iron skillet, so it's just so crispy on the outer edges and that inside is nothing but a ooey, gooey rice batter. And you get a little kick of saltiness and sweetness from those little tiny shrimp that been chopped up and put on top. Scoop that sauce there, look at that. Big scallion, shallots flavor coming from the inside of the ooey gooeyness of the bon col. Love that nook mom and that chili. That chili was literally picked about an hour ago, chopped up and served to us. Taste that precious. Ooh, gotta be careful, gotta lean over a little bit. Don't get that nook mom and chili all over you. Ooh, almost too big for a one biter, but I don't think there's any other way you can do it. That bon col is just so ooey and gooey on the inside. And they don't have chata, but we got a coconut. Look at this. Went and drained it for us. This <laughs> I'm just dying laughing at this. This is awesome. I feel like this is something I would do back home. Fresh coconut, no sugar. It almost just quenches your thirst, cools you down. Oh, you gotta be careful. This stuff's fresh. Almost ate a bunch of ants here. Hey, it's just extra protein though, you know? So I'm not messed up for it, but if. Uh, I have a choice, I'm gonna go no ants today. And then there's one. Wow. Did not stand a chance. Absolutely crushed. And got a little family get together here now. I didn't even see it. I was too busy smashing like one gold. Come on, eat. Delicious hit the spot. She's doing awesome, Bunko. Tell y'all what though, simple way of life. So that cost 10,000 for a serving. She's only making about 30 batches a day. I mean, that's what, 300,000. Probably nets about 100,000. That's all you need, you know? Out here, if you get to hang out, make a little bit of money making some food, that's all you need in life. Hey, <laughs> And the cooking is still going. They are getting after it. <laughs> ah, simple life, bringing back all the memories, the flashbacks to my childhood, propping up right here. Enjoy this breeze, enjoy this view. That's the, uh, the see that um, cabinet right there? Mm. That's too for, for the offering and all that stuff, you know, the ceremony. Oh, there's more cooking going on over here. What's it, is this typical like offering food? Yeah. Okay. To so the ancestor mm. that take care of the babies, you know, of the newborns and stuff like so that. So you got the like little sticky little sweet dessert. You got kind of like the glutinous rice thing uh -huh. you got the ducks. Yeah. You can do any kind of food, but typical, traditional sticky rice and the, the sweet is uh, always there. Now the meat are normally chicken, duck or pork uh, in whole, like a little whole pork, you know. Rarely that you see they cut it up afterwards, then do they cut it up. Yeah. It's actually their old home and uh, you feel the heat in here, but maybe because he's cooking up a storm. Can't get this Skimming that scum off the top. That is a good sound. I love chainsaw cuts of tree, y'all. That makes me feel at home. Today, the star attraction is here. Baby Yulia, born Ju uh, June 13th, 2020. This is the star attraction. This is my baby, my firstborn. Family's so worried about me. Afraid I haven't eaten, even though I went down there and got that bone cold. Little sticky rice. Mm. I think I found my new favorite snack. It's pretty good. I didn't realize it. it's actually durian sticky rice, y'all. It's not a strong durian flavor, it's just a touch of it, but I may go through this whole plate. Mm. So you see, so actually Tim's wife's grandmother is the one that made it. I dig that for sure. And if I ever need more, this thing right here. I don't think you've seen, seen it, but this thing is massive. If you compare it, there's my hand. So much. What they've been doing is bagging it and bagging it and bagging it. Apparently gonna get over like 100 guests today. It's gonna be a massive celebration.
Oh, it just became a party the Darian got here. Opening one up already. Oh, yes, it's so creamy. Oh, I gotta come back out here to the wind. Oh. That was beautiful. Super ripe, soft, creamy. Look at that. It's like melting in my mouth. What other fruit do you know that just melts in your hand? This is my mouth. This is the perfect durian. Not too sweet, bitter, and really creamy. Oh, dude. They hit it on the spot. This is my favorite type right here. Oh, this is the kind you like? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a little bitter for me. The bitter with the super creaminess. Not too sweet. On point. Mm. If I eat too much of this, probably not safe for me to drink later, so you gotta weigh your priorities when you eat durian. This is durian from the Kung Tho region. It's near here. It's right next to the Mekong Kung Tho is on the Mekong Delta. Just okay. prop up here, enjoy the view, enjoy my durian. Whoops. That's a duck also. Plating has started. You see, you got two chickens and two ducks. They've been boiled and boiled and boiled. Starting to plate some veggies here. She's actually getting the boom noodles ready. She's folding up those nice and neat. A lot neater than I would do, trust me. Pulls them out, just kind of dips her hands because they're a little bit sticky. The aroma from this one is. Mm. Oh, mm, mm. Words can't explain. Long in. So sweet. Just picked off the tree, delivered to the house. Just don't eat the seed. This is literally going to be the biggest salad I've ever seen. All right, so I just got word, about to actually take the meats right here, shred it, and put it in the salad. They're about to put the sauce in it right now. Wow, we got close to time, and I feel like things just took off. It was relaxed, but I mean, everybody's on a mission now. This is as focused as I've seen everybody all day. All hands on deck, get in here, start shredding that chicken up, get it up in the salad. I tell you, I thought they boiled it for a really long time, but as they're ripping it apart, you can hear the juices, you can see it. So remember those two whole fish that were in that big red bucket? She filleted them earlier, and now they've saved them, and now they're about to do something with them. It's not very informative, but you know, we'll find out soon. It was very simple, we're gonna add it to the follow Roadblock. We have a village roadblock. <laughs> the village, Second one today. The village roadblock. <laughs> it's called the village roadblock. <laughs> Second one today. I would it's probably more than they've had all week. Man, I keep thinking they're done with the salad, and it just keeps getting looking better and better and better. No room to walk here because there's just so much food ready to go. So here's the home here, and what they're doing is actually going to park over here, kind of working a little path right now. You know what just got here? You knew it was missing from this party. I know y'all were knowing where it was. It just arrived. I've heard rumors and rumors and rumors of the size of the speakers at a Vietnamese celebration. Y'all, the rumors are true. Look at the speaker system. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, all my Vietnamese friends tell me like, oh man, the holidays, the speaker system, it's a battle. It's true. 
One, two, three, four. There's like there's five speakers here. Tim didn't think it was gonna be here. I'm glad Tim was wrong. You know, just you want to experience the whole thing. You want the full, authentic experience. Gotta have the sound system. Dang. Can you get all right here? It's so impressive. I can't shut up, y'all. I'm so excited. Ooh. There is life. Anticipation, anticipation, anticipation. We have made it at the unwrap like it's Christmas and dig in. So, this is actually what you saw. I'm making that huge salad earlier. You got the cabbage, you got the slaw, you got a little bit of herb in there. Hit it with that mom and that shredded chicken. Light, refreshing, juicy chicken, clean, just natural. Wash it down with a nice little KGB. Y'all, the corners are tight here. We gotta get up close personal. Great way to warm it up and get it going. Trying to get the other meals going. Got like a pork mixture here. Got like the pork stew. You just take the bomb meat, dip it in there, almost like a baka. Mm. Mm. Oh, that just tastes like something your grandmother made right there. Nice, low, slow stew down. You get like a tomato sweetness, a little tanginess. You get the carrots. You get the nice little pork that's seeped into the broth. You give it this meatiness. We 30 seconds in, and it's like number four. Gotta keep up. Ooh, it's filled up in here, it's getting hotter, it's getting quicker, there's food, there's drinks going everywhere. Oh God. We need more sauce. Yelling for more sauce. <laughs> that pork dry, but I'll tell you what, you put that bomb me in there, Oh. I could dip my mom me in that all day. I did again. Dry pork. It dry. Yes, we did just level our burner with a couple pieces of bon me. I just wanted you to clarify what you were seeing. Oh, it got busy in here quick, but I got Bommy hand me. We are hitting cheers with that KGB. It is moving fast, y'all. I can't even lie to y'all. This feels like home to me. It's so much fun. It's hectic. It's fast paced and loud. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now what we're doing is getting a hot plate going, get some oil on there, get the vegetables in there, gonna be a bitter melon, onion, and then gonna throw a beef on there that's been marinating for hours and hours. Hey. It may be a long day, early night for me. <laughs> That one's on point right there. The bitter melon works with the beef. It's been marinating in hot heat. Woo. 
Somebody told him I love heat and they just keep feeding me chilies here. I'm gonna try to use my chopsticks left handed. Mm. And the last thing going for some Lao today. Got a ton of seafood we're about to put down here and the karaoke is about to start. I really don't know how much longer this video is gonna last, but I'm gonna try to bring y'all as far as I can. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed not just the food, but the actual experience that you got to come along with me for. Some of the stuff I enjoyed the most is getting out to that countryside. You know it hits close to home for me. Anyways, y'all, it's been Max of My Kind of Beats. I will catch you at the next video.